Hey everyone, welcome back for a little TLC where we talk about the truth about life in Christ. Last week, we talked about whether or not we should read the Bible literally. If you did not watch that video, I'll make sure I put a link to it in this video and in the caption below or the description below. Um, today, I'm going to talk about how we can study the Bible because last week I did encourage us all to study rather than just read the biblical text. And so I'm going to provide a couple of quick tips on how we can study rather than just read the Bible. So let's get into it. All right, so how do we study the Bible? Tip number one is have access to the Holy Spirit. I don't want to give you any um, literal um, suggestions without offering up our best teacher who is the Holy Spirit. With the Holy Spirit, when we are reading, when we are studying, we're able to gain greater understanding of the text. The Bible teaches that those who believe in Jesus Christ are given the advocate. We are sealed with the Holy Spirit. And I also believe that we are very spiritual creatures. We are intuitive beings. And so find your way of tapping into the Holy Spirit who gives us understanding. For some people, that is through prayer and meditation. For others, that could be just through sitting in silence and really delving into the scripture however you feel close to the holy spirit do that because with the holy spirit we are able to gain greater understanding and actually be able to process what we are reading not just through the bible but even as we navigate through life so tip number one is tap into have access to listen to the holy spirit tip number two is take a little bit of the Bible at a time. The Bible is a huge book comprised of many other little books who have many different chapters. So don't feel overwhelmed by thinking, I need to read all of this entire book and understand it in a very short period of time. Start off in Genesis and take Genesis chapter one. Really, you can break down a couple of verses a day and you will have enough to process for the rest of your life. Um, if you're starting in the New Testament, because that's what some folks do, um, some folks recommend you start with the book of John or some recommend that you start with Matthew since that's the first book in the New Testament. But just start somewhere and take it little by little and don't feel pressured to have the entire thing read in a short period of time. There is a lot of Bible to cover and there is a lot of content within each book of the Bible. So I do encourage you when you're studying to try to just tackle a little bit at a time so you don't get overwhelmed. Tip number two is take a little at a time. Tip number three is ask yourself some processing questions while you're going through the text. So some things that I like to use are just like the general information gathering questions, which include who, what, when, where, why, and how. So as you are reading the Bible, ask yourself who is speaking, who wrote this book, and who are they talking to? What was going on in that particular time period? What was going on with the group of people, the subject of the text? When did this take place? What was going on during that era? When is the era at all? Um, is this creation? Is it um, during the time of the Israelites? Was this taking place when Jesus was there? When was this actually taking place? What you are reading? Where were they? Um, the geographical region. Wh where were these people at the time that this was being written which could take you back to another what question is what is the culture of the particular place that they are at um who what when where why <laughs> um what is the like why why did the the writer or the speaker of the book have to have to say these things why was there a need for this particular text this particular book or this particular message and how does what you are reading in the Bible, wherever you might be in the Bible, correlate to the rest of the book. Um, how does the Old Testament scripture 
relate to the New Testament scripture and vice versa? Like, how do all of these things work together for us to be able to apply it to our lives? I don't know what tip I'm on. I think that was number three. So number three, ask yourself some processing questions as you're studying so that you are going deeper and not just having a surface level read. And number four, the fourth tip that I will give you is to use some outside sources to gain some understanding. Um, that can be commentary. That could be some other scholarly books. Um, that could be other historical books. Like when I was in school, whenever we wrote a paper we always had to have more than just one source and i know there are some people who um believe in like just looking at the bible and that is it but i believe in you looking at other sources to gain greater understanding um there's like the matthew henry commentary there are so many scholars who have really broken these books of the bible down and who have made it their life's work to have greater understanding so feel free to to look at those other books. I have a whole entire bookshelf back here of, of different scholarly works, but also just some, some other um, preachers or teachers who have taken specific topics in the Bible like prayer and really broken those things down. So I encourage you to look at other resources to gain greater understanding. Um, I think one good place is Bible Hub dot com um, biblehub.com i like them because when you look up the scriptures they not only have commentary like many different commentaries that break down the scriptures but they also have various versions of the bible so that you can literally see how the wording might be different how the interpretation might be different for each version of the bible and that helps me gain greater understanding as well so tip number four is Look at some outside sources that could be commentaries, that could be other scholarly work, that could be other preachers or teachers um, breakdown of certain topics. Yeah, I think those are the main tips. And if you use tip number one, which is have access to the Holy Spirit, even when you're looking at or, or reading outside articles, you'll be able to tell well, what's probably on track and what you probably need to throw away. As my Aunt Mary says, um, chew the meat and throw the bones away <laughs> so whatever you're reading take what you can out of it and then those things that don't apply to you or those things that are just like far left or very far right throw those things away as you are guided by the holy spirit so my four tips for studying the bible number one have access to the holy spirit listen to the holy spirit number two Take a little bit at a time. I cannot remember. Okay, starting over. Number one, have access to the Holy Spirit. Number two, take a little bit at a time. Number three, ask yourself some processing questions as you are reading. And number four, look at some outside sources, um, some scholarly articles, some commentaries and things of that nature to compare to the Bible and to deepen your understanding of what you are reading. I hope this is very helpful. If you have any additional tips for how you might study the Bible, then I would love to see you comment those below. And I will see you next time for a little TLC. Bye-bye. Thank you.